Nothing in this recording is intended as investment advice, and the people in this recording may hold positions in the companies they talk about. Do not make any investment based solely on a tip or recommendation. Please do your own research. Hello and welcome to Zach's Traders Cafe. Today I'm joined by Charles Dixon, who's Executive Chairman at Roadside. How are you today, Charles? Very well, Zach. How are you? Very well. We're speaking in the aftermath of yesterday's announcement from Roadside Real Estate, which was regarding CSS. Um, we didn't talk about CSS the last time we spoke. We sp- spoke about the real estate side, but you have another string to your bow, which looks like uh, a pretty good piece of string. Yes, thanks, Zach. It's uh, it's been a good one. Um, we 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 invested in Cambridge Sleep Sciences four years ago and have built up the opportunity proving the technology, proving the concept, and now have a um, a fast-growing B2B licensing and royalties platform. So, yeah, very, very exciting. So most of us are aware of uh, pillows, but maybe you can explain what a smart pillow is. The so smart pillow has got um, a couple of very small speakers in either end, which can play an audio track that's tuned to the part of your brain that deals with sleep um, and helps you get into a sleep pattern. Right. And in terms of, I mean, you've, you've talked about a further £100,000 in revenues. How much of a, a cash cow is the CSS subsidiary going to be? Great cash cow because the margins are so high. because We're just doing licensing and royalty. So once we sort of get to the scale that we want over the next nine months, the gross margin is high 80s. So it's a very, very profitable business. We don't take any manufacturing risk or sales. We don't really have a big sales and marketing team that's very, very light in terms of overheads, which means that it's um, throwing off a lot of cash. So this is basically a, a tech business, which is scalable, international, et cetera, et cetera. But what's your sort of long-term view of how this could contribute to Roadside? Well, we've sold 10% of the company in April for $7.5 million, which recruits our original investment and more. And we now hold 61%. Um, the plan would be to, to sell down further shares over the next uh, year and achieve the best value for shareholders. So, I mean, in this way, we're already illustrating that the sum of parts in your business is rather greater than your current market cap of 17 million. Yes, I I think that that would be very fair to say. And therefore, the 92% rise in the share price this year so far is basically the market re-rating the assets within or the, the businesses within your particular company. Yeah, I think the market's beginning to understand what we're doing. The shares have moved moved a bit. Um, they're still trading at a very, very big discount to the see-through net asset value of the business and not pricing any opportunity in at all um, on top of that. So whilst we have had a re-rating, I think, I think it's fair to say there's still potentially quite a bit more to come. Well, we look forward to that. In the meantime, Charles Dixon, Executive Chairman at Roadside Real Estate. Thank you very much indeed. Thanks, Zach.